250 million years ago, volcanic eruptions and other global changes caused the death of nearly 70% of all land species and 95% of all marine species on Earth. Though alarming, the great dying left openings in the environment that allowed surviving populations to move into new habitats. Devastation of seedless plant forest was followed by the rise of seed plants. The loss of many animals left openings for surviving reptiles, leading to the age of dinosaurs. Extinction is the death of an entire species. Exploring the images from the graph, we will find out about some species that went extinct or nearly extinct as a result of peak extinction events in Earth's history. Trilobites are marine arthropods that lived in oceans all over Earth. Over 80% would extinct during the Ordovician extinction. They were completely extinct by the end of the Permian extinction. Dipterus is an extinct genus of lungfish, a type of fish that can extract oxygen from air as well as water. Dipterus numbers dramatically declined following the Devonian extinction, during which global temperatures and sea oxygen levels dropped. Diplocolis is an extinct genus of amphibian. It had a very flat body and an unusually shaped head. Many amphibians went extinct during the Permian extinction. Massive volcanic activity caused acid rain and acidification of the oceans. Dismatosuchus is an extinct genus of archosaur. Its stout body allowed it to feed on low growing vegetation. It lived during the late Triassic period, during which global warming may have caused the extinction of many species. Pteranodon is an extinct member of the pterosaur, or flying reptile family. Pteranodon went extinct during the Cretaceous extinction, which may have been caused by an asteroid impact. 99% of species that have ever lived are now extinct. Extinction occurs when there are no members of a species left on Earth. Background extinctions happen at a fairly constant rate as species fail to adapt or compete in their environments while others succeed. At certain points in history, however, large changes to Earth's environment have caused mass extinctions in which more than 50% of existing species went extinct within a few million years. Causes of mass extinctions include asteroid collisions, rapid changes to sea level, or geological events such as earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. Red pandas are in danger of extinction due to the spread of agricultural activities, including deforestation. The pandas live only in the Himalayan mountains of Nepal and China. As average temperatures rise, tree boring beetles can spread to higher elevations and infest more and more white bark pines. Migrating monarch populations are declining due to pesticide use. The pesticides used by farmers to protect their crops are killing milkweed plants where monarchs lay eggs. Guam's marina fruit bat is facing extinction due to brown tree snakes. Brown tree snakes are not native to Guam. They frequently eat small mammals, such as bats. European red squirrel populations are threatened by an introduced squirrel species. Eastern gray squirrels are not native to Great Britain. They were introduced from the United States in the late 19th century and have been outcompeting native red squirrels for resources ever since. Gray squirrels are larger and are better foragers than the native red squirrels. Human activity is a relatively new cause of extinctions. While unintended, the way we interact with the environment to live, eat, produce energy, and build economies affects the health of ecosystems. 
clearing of land for farms, cities, and roads causes loss of habitats. Overuse of plants and animals for food, medicine, shelter, and sport threatens many species. When the rate of use is faster than the rate of reproduction, a species may become extinct. Human activity is also linked to pollution, climate change, and the spread of invasive species. If human-induced environmental changes are extreme or rapid, populations may not have time to adapt and survive. The current rate of extinctions is more than 100 times the expected background rate. Scientists predict the loss of a large number of species over the next century. Conservation actions are increasing in an effort to keep pace.